Hi everybody, this is Miss Maddox here to teach you an art lesson while you are learning from home. Uh, today we're going to be making family mosaic. Uh, mosaic is an artwork that uses little pieces of tile, um, sometimes glass or paper. We're gonna be using paper today. Um, paper and arrange to create a larger artwork. Um, some artists or a lot of artists create mosaics to show things that are important to them um, or to symbolize things that are important to them. Um, so this could be the artist's culture. Uh, culture is like who you are, right? Um, maybe the artist wants to show their community, so where they're from, or just to show others their ideas, their important ideas. Um, so a lot of a lot of mosaics are actually public art. Um, so public art is art that can be seen by everybody. Um, public art is art that is made for the community. So join me today. We are going to get our materials out um, so that we can start making our mosaics. So you are going to need, today you're gonna to need some paper. Um, so the paper that you use can be any color. I have white, I also have blue, I have a bunch of different colors. Um, it's really up to you. Um, you can also, so you'll need at least one piece of paper. And then if you have magazines um, that you're not using anymore, you can use magazines. Uh, let's see, I also have a paper bag. You can use paper bags. Um, any kind of paper that you have that you're not using at home. Lined paper, any kind of paper. Um, you are also going to need a pencil. Um, a pair of scissors. If you don't have scissors, that's okay too. And some glue. You can use a glue stick or regular white glue. So go ahead, you can pause the video now and go ahead and go gather all of your material. Okay, so now that we have all of our art materials ready, we can go ahead and start. Um, but before we start, if you have an extra piece of paper on hand um, and you wanna write down your ideas, go ahead and get that extra piece of paper out um, if you don't want to write down your ideas, you can just think about what you're going to want to do. Um, but I'm going to walk you through my process of brainstorming and deciding what my mosaic is going to be about. So remember, um, I mentioned earlier that this is going to be a family mosaic. So I want you to think about what's important to your family. Um, what kind of things do you like to do with your family? Um, if your family members are around right now, you can talk with them. Um, if not, I want you to just go ahead. I'm gonna write down what is important to our family. So I'm gonna think, I'm gonna make a list, maybe three things, one, two, three. Three things that are important to my family. So the first thing I can think of is, hmm, my family loves Halloween. So I might write Halloween, right? So you can think of different holidays that you like to do with your family or celebrate with your family, um, different activities, right? So let's see, what else is important to my family? How about food? Is there any food that's important to your family? My family, we love to eat pizza. So I might write, Pizza, that's something that's important to my family. Hmm, what else is important to my family? Oh, maybe you have a pet, right? Maybe you have a pet that's important to your family. I know that our dog is very important to us. Our dog, Dharma. So I wrote down three things that are important to my family and now I'm going to choose which one, which thing is the most important to us? And I need to say that it's our dog. So once you come up with the, the thing that you want to make your artwork about, then you're gonna come up with a symbol, right? So something really simple. 
Okay, so a symbol for, let's say Halloween could be a pumpkin or something like that. A symbol for pizza could be the shape of a pizza. Or the symbol for a dog, since I'm gonna do the dog, I'll show you on the next piece of paper, right? When we're drawing our symbols, right, a simple image, we just wanna draw the outside of that symbol. We don't wanna draw any little details inside. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to draw my dog, Dharma, right? That's what I wanna make my mosaic about. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to draw the outline of my dog. So at this point, you can put your drawing to the side. And now we're gonna start making our little, uh, cutting up our little pieces that we're gonna use for our mosaic. So I'm going to start cutting my little squares. So I want a lot of little squares, not too small, or else it'll take you forever to glue all of them down. Um, maybe about the size of a quarter. So how, how I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna cut strips first, like really, really long rectangles off of my paper. And then I can turn my paper and start cutting my squares. My squares don't all have to be the same size, but some smaller ones. If you don't have scissors, then you could Take your paper and just make little rips, right? So take out, make a bunch of little pieces and these will work just as well, right? So you have the option of tearing or cutting, um, it's up to you. If you want to use a magazine, maybe you found some cool patterns, right? Repeated shapes, lines, in your magazines or you found some colors that you like you can do the same thing right you could cut out on the magazine i think this would make your mosaic look really interesting to have some patterns so now that i have this nice big pile of little squares that i cut out these are like our tiles that we're going to lay down now I can get my drawing back that I made and I can start arranging my pieces and gluing them down. Um, so when I'm gluing my pieces down, I wanna try to fit them inside of the um, black lines that I drew. Um, so I might turn my rectangles that way, right? You're just gonna try to fit them in as best as you can, right? And you're also going to try to leave a little bit of space between each of your pieces. So, so you can use, I think I'm gonna use a glue stick for this. Um, and then you can start gluing down your pieces, right? So I'll put a little bit of glue on my piece. I like to glue, put glue on my actual pieces because if I just go glue all over my paper, when it dries, it might look kind of yellow, kind of yucky, right? So we want this artwork, our artwork to look nice. I can't wait to see the family mosaics that you create and I will see you at our next art lesson.